All right, it is about that time since my kingdom is in pre-KVK where I got to do an account review because the last time you guys saw one of these, I think was four or five months ago. So a lot has changed and you'll be caught up very quickly. So let's dive into it. For those of you who have not seen it before or have not heard of kind of the type of player I am, I am a medium spender. Uh, depending on how much I drink, it turns into a high spender. <laughs> um, but generally, you know, I will spend on the dailies only. And uh, yeah, that's about it. And do some recharges. And then every once in a while, there's going to be a holiday bundle that I'll buy a, uh, buy a gold chest for. Um, and then I keep the gem supply rolling and the material supply rolling 100% of the time. Not some crazy, crazy whale. I don't even spin the wheel anymore on my account because I have most of the commanders that I want. But... Uh, yeah, so I spend most of my gems on materials and then some VIP. I'm very close to VIP 18. Just hit that 1,000 mark, so it's pretty cool, but I'm still about 600,000 VIP away from VIP 18. So, just to uh, go, I think I'm going to do all this in one take because why not, right? Um, but we're going to start off with my commanders and the gear that they have. So, number one I finally finished my crit set for <laughs> Guan Yu. Really, really nice. I just got this ring. It's my first ring being made. As you can see in my bottom right, I love war drums. <laughs> this is also because I had originally planned on going back to a KVK2 at one point, and I wanted to structure my account as like a KVK2 and a Season of Conquest hybrid. So where if I did ever decide to go back, um, I wouldn't have to take off 95% of my gear. So you'll see I use a lot of the pre-Season of Conquest gear. This is fully special talented. I use my Guan Yu with my Skippy Prime, um, which is also expertise. But I will now, since I finished my Sargon, be using Guan Yu Sargon and Skippy Prime with Alex or Skippy Prime with Tariq, who is my most recent project. And that is not what I meant to click on. And here, he is 5553, uh, really close to getting him expertise. But Go back to my Guan Yu. This is my infantry set, main infantry set. My armaments are really, really nice uh, for pretty much all my main sets. We've got some good, good stats over here. I'm not going to do all the exact lineup, but you know, I'm trying to roll these uh, with the transmutation stones to get triple stats. Um, but yeah. So anyway, there's my Guan Yu. I use my Nevsky as well. This is my cavalry gear. Again, another drums, and then the. Wedge formation armaments are here. I used my hunter inscription on this armament. I thought it was a pretty good one, so why not? And then, yeah, here we are. I'm trying to reroll this too, but God, I can only get so many transmutation stones. Uh, this is my, I'll do my main archer set first. I mean, there's not really much of a difference between them, but main archer set. Uh, this is my one crit on my account. So if you're ever feeling unlucky, I am 1 out of 36 on first crit crafts. It really, really sucks. But this is my main archer set. My armaments for my archer are my best armaments that I have. If you add all this up um, and you multiply the all damage by 2, because that's kind of how I attribute that to equal all the other stats, it's over 30% of stats. Um, yeah, so this is, my, <laughs> this is my best armament. This is pretty crazy. And then these are also pretty good. And then my second archer set is another full six piece with a max rage build on my Zoog. I want that active skill firing off as often as possible. But uh, again, the armaments are fine for my second uh, archer set. I'm trying to reroll these again, rerolling this. I really need to reroll this. You know, I'm, I've already rerolled re it three times, but no luck. This is the worst triple stat legendary armament in the game. And then this is, you know, mediocre. And then I have this. So this is the set that I'm currently working on now. This is my second infantry set. Um, I will be putting this gear on Skippy when it comes to KVK, but I have it on Constantine now for Canyon. I am going for the two-piece with the helmet and the uh, gloves. I know, I know that technically you want to get the KVK helmet and the KVK weapon and then the uh, tier or set gloves and set boots. Um, I understand that, but like I said, I'm kind of doing KVK2 hybrid mix, so I'm going to just stick with the uh, Gatekeeper Shield for now because it's fine and a lot less expensive than a KVK weapon and the Karox Humility, and then get the gloves eventually to replace the Cess Brutality, and then obviously get like a ring or horn down here. 
And my last march that I have gear for currently is my second Cav set. Uh, this is kind of looking rough. <laughs> um, armaments are pretty okay. I mean, there's a lot of good ones here, but um, like this is absolutely crazy. I'll put my Hunter inscription on this one probably soon. Um, but yeah, I will be fighting with six marches in the field this time around. I have never gotten to be able to fight with six ever, so that's pretty cool. I will be using uh, Guan with Sargon, Skippy with Tariq or Alex, I'll be using Boudica with YSG, and I will be using Zuge Liang with, yep, wait for it, Thutmos. <laughs> and if you haven't seen my Thutmos testing video, I'll have a card for it right up here up top if you want to click and figure that out. Thutmos is actually a really good commander uh, with his double relic. In fact, outperforming Nebu by quite a bit uh, in 1v1 duels. Not saying it's better than Nebu, but if you don't have Nebu, like I don't have Nebu, then yeah, I think it's good. Good for you to use. And I'm not putting gold hands into Nebu at this stage in the game. So I said I had, what, my Zug with um, Thutmose, and then yeah, my two cavalry marches, Nevsky Joan, and then I will be using XY with my William. I don't have enough gold heads, but when the new commanders come out that I just released uh, a video for, then I will be replacing my Zhang Yu with uh, Hu. So, those are my commanders. Obviously, I've been playing for a little while. I've got three farms. I do not buy any resources, and I've managed to farm this as an, in an off-season. This will be KVK number six with my kingdom. And yeah, so if we want to hop into kind of my resources, I have a good bit. Uh, like I said, don't buy resources, and uh, I am I'm pretty proud of the stock that I've kept. Last KVK, I got about 1.3 billion kill points. This KVK, my goal is to get about 5 bill overall, so get the same amount of kills. And let's hop back over here. So those are the resources, the speed ups. I am saving for the next Zenith of Power open field skin. Please let it be the next skin I've been hoarding for so long. Uh, I could do the math right now, but I could put up about 50 million power if I had a 15% training rune. And yeah, so I've been hoarding for quite a long time. I hope that comes soon. These are all my boosts. Again, hoarding for a long time. I am very, very, very in a retentive about having all my boosts going all the time. So you will always see me up on stream or with these videos with all these boosts going. <laughs> and the gathering boost. I think it's a crime to let your AP bar sit full and to not have all these boosts active um, going at once. I kind of already showed you my equipment, but this is it. You can see one, two, three, four, five drums. I've got all the gathering sets. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, so again, I think um, this recent KVK is going to be really important. I'll do another video on my KVK breakdown coming up, but I'm trying to do a KVK, or sorry, an account overview at the start of every KVK, just so you guys see how I progress. This is the AP that I've saved up from last KVK. I placed top 20 honor last KVK just from barb training a lot. I'm deciding not to go all in on this pre-KVK to see if I can do it again with only this amount of action points. And I'm a barb training fiend, so again, going into my commander view, actually, I can't even see my presets now because they're all out there, but I'm, I've got double C with Hera to Barb Chain. <laughs> and then I've got Zug with Boudica to Barb Chain. And then I've got Richard with YSG to Barb Chain. So I'll be Barb Chaining with three marches at one time. It's going to be a lot. I got to pay attention for that. But I kind of missed out on my Hera. This is my uh, garrison set. And actually, specifically, this is my garrison set. So you can see I've got quite a lot of inscriptions. <laughs> I've been pretty lucky. I, I don't spend on armaments, and I've just kind of gotten fortunate, which is nice. So, uh, yeah, how do I get out of this? Thank you. Anyway, that's kind of the basic for the account overview. Not a ton to catch up on since we just did one of these at the beginning of the last KVK, but I'm still in 2638 with OWR. We are a B seed kingdom. I am on the council here. It's been a ton of fun. I was going to leave, um, and they know that, but I decided against it because we had a crazy, crazy migration, and we had a lot of people kind of come and, and revitalize this kingdom for us. So, yeah. Um, again, I'm going to have another video really shortly about uh, our most recent opponents and who we're going to be fighting in this KVK. It's going to be really fun. 
and I think we're at a slight advantage if you don't get me right, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, so all that being said, thank you guys for sticking around. Hope you enjoyed the account overview. We're going to be doing a Kingdom Spotlight video with some of my Kingdom members coming up just so that you can get to know the people that I play with and maybe you can bond with them and maybe they can start their own YouTube channel. You never know. So again, thank you guys for sticking around. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see you all again next time. Thank <laughs> you.